Yes, that's a nice mature female redback spider. Would have been a great breeder for this summer. Oh yeah. Look at the go. Woo! I've got an escapee spider. I have an escapee spider. Um, I'm only, I thought I've captured three. I'm only counting two in there. Oh crikey, I'm sick of these redbacks under the car. Warning. The warning on this spider video has been removed. I know this sounds totally stupid, but that's what I've got to do these days. Ah uh, yes, it's redback spider catching season. I'm down at another neighbor's house and I've been given permission to remove the redback spiders from their bins. They got a yellow bin, they got a red bin, and they've also got two green bins. Like my other neighbor's bins, these bins are presenting with the classic traits of spiders living around the bins, in particular redback spiders underneath the bins. Yeah, seeing things like this, drabs of leaves, uh, we're coming into the spider season. This is what you're going to see. If we were in peak spider season, you would see networks of webs uh, coming out from this area here. And in fact, back in March, when it was the end of the spider season, I took some video here around these bins, and you can see how the spiders had their web network set up. In particular, the messy web of the Australian redback spider. I hope that is educational enough for today's YouTube. So yes, I'll be taking these bins just up the road to my place and I will be pulling the spiders out from underneath. While I was down at this lovely lady's house, I noticed an active redback spider doing stuff around the black pot right in the middle of the screen there. It might be tricky to see there are webs extending right out here. In fact, these are new webs because I spoke to the lady yesterday and I moved this pot so these webs are set up here last night. There's definitely a redback spider up here which is alive and active. It might be nice to take it out. I'm just going to apply a little bit of heat here. Oh yes, it's down. Oh, in fact, there's a couple there. Okay, let's see those spideys. You'll have to look very carefully here and I'll point them out. There is a larger female there. Okay, and there is a very small immature redback there. And I think there was another one. But I can't find it amongst all of the leaf matter around here. Good night, sister. I'll put this back together for the lovely lady and it's proof to me that yes, the spiders are already active this spider season. Okay, I've got the bins up at my place. I've got them laying over so I can see the spiderific action going on. And you're probably wondering why is it important to me to get rid of the spiderific action out of a neighbor's bin? Well, let me show you why it's important. Okay, I've drawn a mud map here. I live in this house here. That's my direct neighbor. The bins I'm dealing with here is from this neighbor here. There's four bins at the front of their house. And the bins I did the other day was this neighbor here. They've got three bins. What I feel is really important is wind direction. I've got north, south, east and west here. During summertime where I live, a lot of the time the wind is blowing across this direction up towards our place. So during the spider season with the wind blowing in that direction, I want to make sure these bins are spider free. There's no egg sacs hatching and that's stopping the spiderlings from ending up here. I got my water bottle here. I've got a whole bunch of tools and a torch. Let's see what spiders I can find amongst these bins. And I like to start like the other bins by getting rid of some of this excess leaf litter. That gives me a little bit more visibility in what is going on up here. And I'll do this across all of the bins. I'm putting the leaves into a little um, canister which has got white lithium grease on it. So if there's anything alive on these leaves, it can't escape the tub. Ooh, I dare say there's something living up there. I'm just back on that first bin and I think this has been the one which has had the major spider nest because there's so much web here wrapped around. Oh, crikey Charlie's, what is that thing there? I'm, sometimes I don't want to know. I'm just looking at that there. Uh, that is like a giant spider egg sack. If anything, and it's the wrong time of year for it, it looks like a garden orb spider sort of deal. That's the thing that they make often on leaves and things on trees. Uh, to me, that's not redback. That's something else. I'll just pull it away. This is the first bin. I can already see a redback spider there. It's the one which seems to have the most chronic infestation of web and things. Just tracking along here with the ISO of the camera cranked. Hopefully we're seeing into very dark areas that we would normally be very tricky to see into. And I think there is another spider. Yes, in the last cell there. And I think I better start moving because that red back is also starting to move. It's very tricky to see up there. I'm just going to try and grab a leg. And yes, I've got her and I put it down into my tub here. Yes, she'll be okay. Don't you worry. They like to play dead, but there's actually nothing wrong with them. See? Yes. 
There's another one up here. I think I can get a leg. Yes, I've got it. Oh, she's a nice one. She's a stunner. Oh, yeah. And I'll make sure that web is off my tweezers or else she'll escape. That is a stunning uh, mature female redback spider. Look at her there. She might have a go at my tweezers there. She may not. Oh, yeah. Look at the go. Woo. This is the next bin now, the other green bin. Uh, yes, that could be a spider skin, it could be a spider just tracking along here. I've got to really put my head in close into this with a torch to see exactly what's going on. I'm just looking down through uh, the camera viewfinder. It can be very tricky to see. Mind you, when it's up on the computer screen, uh, things become very clear, don't they? Okay, this first cell has got a red back spider. I'm just gonna have to be very careful here and look up there, try and get a back leg or something. Oh, it's not that easy, is it? The spider's now in this corner here. I'll just try and get her like that. Yes, I've got her. Okay, oh, she's a stunner as well. Oh, yeah. I don't think there's much else up there. There is a skin of uh, spiders or their skin that they've left behind as they grow. I think that one's okay now. I should just prove a point, shouldn't I? Talk is cheap, but showing is the strength, eh? There is a skin of something that must probably they've eaten up. I've got an escapee spider. I have an escapee spider. Um, I'm only, I thought I've captured three. I'm only counting two in there. Great. Now I have to be really, really careful. Where's that spider gone? The first thing I'm checking is myself, of course, and um, then I'll have a bit of a scout around. I'm just lifting things up, uh, maybe it will appear. <sighs> the damn things can move fast uh, when they want to get away from you, I can tell you that, and it could be anywhere. I'm just also noticing it's that time of year of the uh, flying ants. Yeah, that's uh, happening right behind where I'm dealing with these redbacks, so maybe that redback that escaped uh, will fall into the ants' clutches, I'm hoping. Part of me is starting to think, am I going mad or... Did a spider escape or not? I think I think I should have three in there and I don't. Okay, on with the next bin. Now, uh, this is the red bin. It's got a bit of a different design and uh, it's looking spiderific. It's a bit of a trickier bin to see because that axle there hides so much. There could be goodness knows what going on behind there. What does look like a spider back here is actually, I think, one of their skins. And I'll just pluck it out. Okay, I've got it. I hope. There's the spider skin there. Um, it looks a little bit like a spider at a glance. I think the females have eight of those skins in their three-year life. They need to shed their skin so they can grow. Just back on the red bin here, um, I can't really see a red back presenting to me. They may have all clustered up on those other green bins. I'll hit a bit of flame on this and see what runs out. Okay, I'm just coming in with a little uh, handheld blowtorch here. Just working my way up because, well, heat rises. I hope that's educational. I don't know what's going to come flying out of there. That's the part that I'm sort of scared about. I can't, I can't go too crazy because, well, they're not my bins, are they? Oh, actually, I can see there's a red back down there. Okay, yep. Oh, okay, I got it. Sorry, I had to burn that one out. I was never going to get it. And what I can do with that red back there, yes, you know where it's going to go. Oh yes, I can feed it to the lovely ant colony. Yummy, 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 I got red back in my tummy. And it will take no time for those ants to pull that red back down to nothing, probably drag it into the nest. It will uh, be a wonderful, wonderful meal. Yes, to the ant colony there, that would be like manna from heaven. I'm just back on that, um, this is the red bin where the spider dropped after I hit it with flames. And yeah, it looks like it would have been a fairly extensive spider nest in there. Going by the amount of web wrapped around that axle. And I just noticed there's another spider there. It's like a whitish sort of spider. It does look red back to me, or it's a red back sort of thing going on there. That's possibly another one that I that dropped down from the flames. We're gonna feed it to the ants, hey. My god, it's the luckiest ant colony on the planet. There's just food dropping in from the skies. Now that's really got the ant colony excited, I can tell you. Okay, the last one to look over is the yellow bin, but I actually see a spider egg sac going on up there. It's not red back, it's something else. It might be from a bygone era, I'll just grab it out. It could be from last spider season, yeah, I think it's already opened. Okay, well, that's curious to see anyway. Like I saw with my other neighbors' bins, much of the activity, the web activity, is really last spider season's webs. 
Uh, yes, there'll be spiderlings hanging out amongst there somewhere to come in for this summer, uh, but that's what I'm here to stop. Okay, this is the last bin of the four. It's a yellow bin, and uh, I can see web there. If there's web, there's most probably spider. I think this cell here, there's a, a red back there. I might try and pull it out. And there may be something going on in the last cell, but it's very hard to tell. She's moved right to the back corner. It'll hopefully get, oh no. Uh, no, she's ant food. Um, sadly, I've, yeah, I'll take it to the ants. It's all right. Yes, um, sometimes it just doesn't work out the way I want it to work out, but I'm sure the ants are gonna really enjoy that red back. I can't see the other spiders, they're totally gone. So yes, the ants work in a very, very fast way. Never mess with ants is what I've learned. I'll just come in with a flame, um, just in case there's something hiding behind the axle there. It'll come running for its life, I can guarantee it to you. I don't think there was that much. Oh, I thought I saw one then, just drop. Maybe uh, my mind is playing games on me. I think I've lost a spider in all this as well, so I'm starting to get a bit scared. Now, it might have just been bugs and things that I saw drop down. The things that they eat is what you'll find uh, trapped in here. Well, basically, every bin had a spider or multiple spiders, didn't it, hey? Hmm. I'll get the redback spiders that I've captured into my redback spider tank, just very carefully grabbing a leg and getting them into the tank and being very careful of any web that they've deployed behind them that they can easily escape on. They're very uh, tricky like that, and so that's how that other one escaped. I'll just get this one nice and carefully. <sighs> can be a tad tricky. Okay, got that one there, get it onto metal frame and away she goes. So there's three other females in there, they're going to have to decide uh, where they're going to live, where it's safe to live. There's one other spot available. Oh, I wouldn't be playing of Alpha Mother because um, your life won't be uh, lived much longer if you do. It's sort of strange, I think they've gone and clumped around, yeah, the, the major female in this tank. Which has got a surrogate egg sac, her own egg sac, and she's feeding on a black house spider. Well, I've got to get on with it. I really just wanted to show you uh, the method I have of catching the spiders, identifying where the spiders are. I think that's important to know. Well, the next step for me is to basically burn out the rest of the spiders carefully and wash them down with high pressure water, then add the white lithium grease to the right zones, as I showed in the other video. And I know some people would be curious, well, how common is it to have spiders around these styles of bins? Well, in my morning walk this morning, I just took photos of my iPhone, and as you can see, they're flashing up on the screen now. It's a fairly common thing. Now, some people don't have spiders, but I think these are the people that maybe wash down their bins every couple of months and break the spider's breeding cycle. Uh, that's what you've got to do to stop spiders from inhabiting these bins. Apart from my crazy method, I mean, you could come along with some expansion foam and fill up the area there. You could just pressure wash your bins down. You could use insecticide, couldn't you? Um, but it's one of these things, it's like time and money equation. How much time do you want to spend in dealing with this nightmare? Do you want to try and prevent it for a period of time? Or do you want to um, keep reinvesting into insecticides and things? I mean, that's the, that's the industry of this. And really, maybe a better bin design is, is what we need. Something that isn't such a spider nightmare. There's the job done. It doesn't take that long to do when I'm not stuffing around with a video camera. The important thing when you're doing this job is to be nice and thorough with that white lithium grease. Especially around the lip, underneath the lid of this style of bin. And really it looks so different versus what was going on here prior to me fixing up this uh, spider nightmare. I've already had a chat to my neighbour and she was actually quite impressed with what I've been up to with her bins. I did this spider tidy up on the 28th of September. It's the beginning of the spider season. Yesterday, which was the 27th, I went around the backyard, did my little uh, spider burn to control the numbers, but the best news was I couldn't find any spider web and I didn't find any spiders. And I dare say you're wondering how much lithium grease did I use? Well, there you go, I used four tins. Well, I'll go and take these bins down the road and give them back to the rightful owner. I'm pretty sure she's not gonna have a spider problem anymore. Okay, the bins are back in place. It's early afternoon. It's nice and warm here. It's the perfect little environment for those redback spiders. And I'm pretty sure their little empire here is now over.
This is a very delayed upload and the spiders that were pulled from the bins that you saw cleaned in this video, I think it's the spider convalescence home study of week 5.5 where that's seen. As I'm editing this video together, I'm up to week 10 in the spider convalescence home. Many things have gone on in those few weeks and that's the dynamic nature of these spiders, especially in springtime. And uh, the grey spider that I did see in this video, I think that's called a grey widow. And I did put one of those into the spider tank. And it's proven to me to be a survivor against the redback spiders, which is, to me, very curious. I have done an extensive video study of what goes on at week 10. I've also done a whole ton of time-lapse photography of uh, the period of time between week 5 to week 10. But I'll be honest with you, I think I'm totally wasting my time uh, looking at critters and spiders on YouTube because what I'm noticing is that all these videos get quietly put to bed. Obviously, I'm not a shiny producer like Brave Wilderness or Ants Canada or anybody else that seems to pull off major success with these sorts of videos. I've also been doing a little study over the last couple of months of how my channel has been, well, basically put to sleep on the networks. Yes, YouTube analytics tell you lots of things about what's going on. And boy, oh boy, do I have a number of screenshots. That's going to be a big eye-opener to many people who have any sort of curiosity about YouTube. I think the strangest thing is on Google reviews, I'm seen as a megastar. Google can't help sending me emails telling me how fantastic I am and how I'm climbing the ladder. And sooner or later, I'm going to be at some incredible rating. And I'm going to be a very sought-after person for reviewing things and rating things. And my crikey is, how high can you go? Yet on YouTube, I'm just smacked down at every upload. It seems that no matter what I do, or no matter how much effort I put into a video, it's never going to repair the downward trend that's been on my channel for over four years now. It's really, really peculiar. Maybe I'll finish off the video here with some very positive news about what I found underneath my Toyota vehicle. Ah uh, yes, uh, some things just remain the same. Hey, guess where I am? I'm underneath my Toyota vehicle and uh, apart from having a cicada shell there because that's the time of year that I'm making this part of the video, it's actually two months after I cleaned out my neighbor's bins and uh, maybe that escapee redback spider has decided to live underneath my Toyota car because I can see the redback spider web coming all the way down to the ground here. She will be in there and I don't know whether I want to go right underneath here Oh, did I see a leg or something then? Oh, crikey, is that scary? She would be inside the area and it'd be right in the middle of the screen. In fact, uh, in zooming in like that, I dare say that is her red back that I can see up there. Oh, crikey, I'm sick of these red backs under the car! That's going to be quite a sizable redback spider, and I say that because if I take a look at her web network here, especially the drop down lines and just the amount of drop down lines going on here, you'll see the white streak of them going across frame there. That's telling me that's quite a mature redback spider. Oh, crikeys! I'm tired of dealing with this. I really, really am tired of dealing with this.